Hello everybody, this is Joking John 74 and here, I'm here to present you 32 teams and I'm using the Buccaneers. And yes, I'm watching Jackass 2.5 while doing this. Huh. So let's get it started with the depth chart. The quarterback's going to be Josh Freeman. Watch out with him. You know, he's going to over to some couple of passes. His back is going to be Lagares Blunt and the backup's going to be Lumpkin. He's kind of fast. He's the fastest guy in offense. And uh, receivers, you're going to have uh, Jalen Ben. He's actually a great receiver. And look out for Ed Gann. He's six foot three. And Kellen Winslow, a tight end, is actually the greatest receiver you can have in offense. So I recommend him to put him in every single play. And uh, let's go to defense. Defense, you're going to have to put General Hayes as the middle linebacker. And uh, the cornerback, Akit Talib, is actually a great, uh, uh, excellent cornerback. So, uh, no, you don't have to worry about his side of cup for a while. Tate is actually our average. So, so, yeah, pretty good defense right there. So, let's get it started. We're going to be facing just Pol Trust Polaris. It's actually high ranked. So right here, I'm going to start off with the eye formation, like always, because I want to test out if the defense is actually going to run a man against my running my, my running game. If he runs the zone, you know, it's going to be a lot easier to pass against that zone. And right here, a magical catch by Julius Ben, you know, I didn't expect that. I thought it was going to be a pick, but no, it didn't happen right here. I ran it all the way for a touchdown. Yeah. So let's get started on, off on defense. And right here, a great sack by the DT. He didn't have nobody open. Well, he did have somebody open down the middle. But he didn't pass it on time. Right here, a great screen. He got me off guard right here. You know, I give him credit. <laughs> uh, I should have never called that his own. I should have called a man or something. Then right here, he exposed my defense again. I'll admit that my defense has been shitty for the past one and a half weeks. I don't know what the hell's wrong with my 3-4. I think I should get a fix or, you know, I'm just going to change defensive playbooks because uh, this is just getting ridiculous. I can't do my, my freaking... Uh, Run stop at, at all, like it hasn't been working at all. Not even my, not even my freaking four six cover one. Like nothing's been things happening. So I'm I'm thinking of changing the defensive playbooks. And the defensive playbook that I'm running right now is uh, multiple D. So yeah, and right here, Josh Freeman overthrows it as a telling you, you know, you gotta be cautious with Josh Freeman. He's no longer good like before. I know before he was like compared to Peyton Manning or something like that. And right here, another quick pass. You know, he's doing a little bit of man. So he's gonna get, leave that guy open for a second. Another man, you see, he's he kept playing man, so he's gonna leave the inside open for the pass. And right here, a slide protects the right side and leaving the run open. The great blunt taking it over 40 yards. Pretty great run right here. And right here, I did a little toss, I got him off guard. Lumpkin for a touchdown. Lumpkin is your fastest guy, <laughs> he can have a running back position, so I suggest him to keep him like close to the starting position so you can like switch around with him. With uh, between the uh, Lagares Blunt and uh, and the uh, Lumpkin, and right here, great interception by Keep the Leap. I was playing a man. He has, he actually has a uh, great man coverage, so so you don't have to worry about him with the man. But you know there's some people out there who expose the man coverage. And right here, another magical catch. I didn't expect that touchdown. It was kind of crazy right there. And right here, I ran a little bit of man, and uh, yeah, that's what happens when I run a little bit of man. My freaking defensive end doesn't even go around the, the tackle, you know, this, this run open. I should have contained or something, I don't know. But yeah, they've been running all over my defense for the past one and a half weeks, and it hasn't been going good. I'm going to change defense somehow, you know. If you want to recommend me a defense, you know, leave it down in the comment section. I'll be glad if like to try it out or something like that, and I'll, you know, expose it on our next, our next video for you guys. And right here, I noticed that he, that he had the safety down. So uh, he's going to leave Kenny Winslow open for, like, for, for a while up there, but it didn't happen, you know, my freaking quarterback overthrew that. So, right here, I was playing a cover three, and uh, yeah, he didn't catch that one. Great tackle by the safety. Oh, nothing's going to happen. No, nothing. Right here, I just ran a cover three, and I, and I uh, purple zones, the guy who won flat zones. So yeah, it's gonna prevent a lot of passes right there. The only thing he can do is like throw on the flats or something. All right here, 13 seconds to go, and I go for the touchdown. Kellen went slow. Yeah, I told you guys. You know he kept putting that safety down, so it's gonna leave Kellen Winslow open. Kind of dumb, you know. It's a high rank and he's doing that. Another magical catch by Drillis Ben, freaking ball magnet. God damn. Right here, yeah, again, he exposes my defense, you know, I haven't, I don't know, man, but like, you know, I need to upgrade my defense soon, 
because it's just getting ridiculous. I don't know what to run. You know, I've been running like 3 3. You know, I've been trying it out. Nothing's happening. Nothing's going good for me on defense. And anyway, finally, the defense even decided like, to go outside the freaking tackle. Finally wakes up. Another catch. Thank you, Mike Williams, for saving my uh, down. <clears throat> Another quick pass, you know he's playing man, so it's gonna be easy to like, easy to do the slants and stuff like that, or the slam, but with the outside receiver, cause uh, the apparently the corners can't keep up with the receivers. Uh, yeah, he got me in sack. He kept throwing nanos like in some place. I hate when people do that. Another catch by Kellen Winslow. Kellen Winslow is actually a great receiver. He can have an offense. So yeah, so when you're doing like this uh, offensive formation, I suggest to put him there. And right here, another great catch by Kenny Winslow. Touchdown. He was playing the man, so you know it's gonna the stand's gonna be open. And besides, he was using the guy who was manned up to Kenny Winslow, so yeah, it made it a lot easier for me to throw it to him. And right here, yeah, again, he left it. In a, I think I was playing man right here. I don't think it was a good idea. I think I was playing the two man on there. 1535 is the score right now. Oh, nothing. Thank you, Tanar Jackson, for blocking it down. Could have been an interception or something. And right here, I played a little bit of man, and uh, there's my fault. Yeah, that was kind of my fault. I didn't, I shouldn't have played man right there. I should have played a little bit of zone, and it would have been a stop or something. Right here, great run stopping defense. Finally wakes up after I don't know how long, maybe like three quarters into the freaking game. And right here, finally they call the pass interference. Wow, it's a miracle. You know, usually the freaking refs don't call pass interference in this game a lot. In matter of nine, I remember if you even touch the receiver, they'll be the passing friends like automatically. But right here, you know, everything goes. Right here, this guy's it's already in desperate times, you know. 20, 20 to 35 is the score, and uh, this is two minutes to go, and nothing's gonna happen right here. We're in cover three in the four six, you know, and uh, nothing's gonna happen because I have the buzz zones, and I have two yellow zones in the middle, and I have three guys going up there. Nothing's gonna happen. Yep, again, nothing's gonna happen. He has no choice, you know. He has just all he can do is just lob it to somebody because that's the only thing he can do. And right here, he could have lobbed it to Andrew Johnson. Oh, he did, never mind. Nothing happened. Turnover and downs, and that's game right here. He's gonna call in the quits. And besides, this guy was a high ranked. Uh, he had 870 points, and I had a 720 points. So, so yeah, defeated a high rank right here. Plus 16 points. I'm gonna show you my recently played guys, and uh, there it is. He's a high ranked, and this was a random person. You know, this guy wasn't from the lobbies or anything. So yeah, guys, that's all for now. Make sure you visit the website for more videos and tips. Visit the uh, MaddenAllStars.com forums, you know, for daily tips and uh, daily events, and also visit Pro Gamers Elite where you can uh, play for money and uh, qualify for for many shows that my brother set up, uh, Shocker360.